Hi, I wanted to show you something with uh, Magic's Vegas, formerly Sony Vegas, which is the video software, ed uh, video editing software. I use the nonlinear editor to edit all my videos, and please don't start the flame war down below about which is the best editor, etc. Look, I've been using, I've tried them all. I've been using this for like seven years, six, seven years now, and it's the one I use, okay? It's like the lesser of all evils at the moment. Anyway. I used to use version, I've been using it since version 12, 11, I think. Anyway, I uh, formerly version 12, they just released version 17. So I all, always upgrade, it's only a couple of hundred bucks. It's not, you know, a huge cost. I want to stay with the latest version. You get a few little extra features, although they still haven't fixed the stupid uh, text edit on uh, how you overlay text and images and stuff. Anyway, let's not go into that. I've done a video. But what I wanted to show you is what they've actually removed in 17. Now, here's the, I've, I've got an example project here. This is a video, you can see version 17 up the top there, okay? Now let me actually move in version 16 here. Okay, this is version 16 with exactly the same project. Oh, come on. Sorry, it's not, I've got, I've got different size screens here. Anyway, um, the text, okay, this is my, like, I have like a standard text, uh, like I save it as a template standard type of text with a little, uh, like a fuzzy background, uh, black background on it that I use for all my text overlays. I might change size and color and things like that, but generally I want that back, that black, uh, you know, feathered background like that. And if you go over here and you go over to Project Media, and, whoop, no, hang on, media generators, there we go, I know how to use this. Now, um, I use the legacy text. Now, I know it is legacy, and I probably shouldn't be using it, okay, but it doesn't say deprecated or anything like that. They've actually removed this legacy text in version 17. And the reason I use it is, you'll see in a minute why, okay? Because my, my legacy text, okay, let's just t say, I want like, let's just put in a standard one, okay, this is just like standard sample text, okay, like this, it's got no feathered background. Now, normally I'd call the drop down box like this, and I've got various EEV log ones here, but let's do it from scratch, okay? Let's say I wanted to change that text to I, I want an outline on it, okay? So I want a black outline on that, right? And then I've got a, and then it's got a feature called feathering on this, okay? So I can, I can change the width of that. Look at that, right? I can actually make it really quite thick, like that. And then I can uh, change this, this feathering, it's called, to like, you know, how like dense it is kind of thing, right? And you know, it's like you can get a nice big thick black background where there's all black between the text and, <laughs> no pun intended, between the actual characters in there, right? And, and that's kind of the, the look I want. Maybe not that bad. I think I have it like somewhere like that or something, you know, somewhere around there in my, in my preset configuration. But it's got this feather function and a width, okay? And, and then you can draw shadows. Shadows is a different uh, function altogether. And this is in the legacy text editor, okay? But if I drop that, but if I go into titles and text, which is all version 17 has, okay? So I'll go over to version 17, and you'll see, look, version se version 17, they've removed legacy text. Okay, this has been, legacy text has been around, wasn't just in 16, I think it was called that in previous versions as well. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But let's drop in the sample text, okay? We have exactly the same sample text, but they've completely changed all the window. It's different to the legacy text text editor. Now, I will say that version 17 can actually load in all my previous, uh, uh, version 16 can load in that, no problems at all, it just seamlessly does it. And I and if I edit uh, the text box, look, look, actually, here it is. I've loaded in, this is a version 16 one, okay? And if I load up, and if I go in there and edit that, look, it's legacy text. So it actually knows that, so it still comes with that feature built in somewhere, somehow. So that's, you know, that's fantastic, right? That's, uh, oh, hang on. Oh, sorry. No, I thought I had it off screen. Anyway, that, that's, that's fantastic. Thumbs up, loads all my old projects, no workers whatsoever. And I assume it will render them and, and everything will be fine. But 
it doesn't have the legacy text option over here to place one from scratch. So let's go back here and look at this, okay? So this is the new thing, it's changed. Okay, it's integrated, you don't have to go over to a different tab. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, look, it's got location, okay? Advanced, it's not, that's just a um, track in, that's you space into your text and things like that. So it's not in your advanced. All it is, is in your outline down here. Okay, outline width. Well, let's change our outline color to black. All right. So, I, I don't care that they change the look and feel of it. That's fine, as long as I can do what I want. But look, right, outline width, that's the maximum. Okay, I can change that width. But where's the feather option? A, <laughs> the first thing is, I can't make it as thick as what I used to before. Right, they've changed, I, like, that's this, as thick as I can make it. No, I can't type in 20 because then it'll, oh, oh yes I can. It didn't work, <laughs> okay, that's embarrassing. Um, it didn't work with another field that I had. I think it maybe it was the shadow one down here. It didn't work, it, it, oh, it didn't like that. Can I change it manually? Yeah, looks like I might be able to. Anyway, okay, so outline, and then we can go down here to shadow, but there is no feather option like we used to have, okay? That's really quite annoying. And we can go, we can enable a shadow which puts it like offset, by, by default it offsets it like that, but we can set that manually like that. And then shadow blur, okay? So we can blur it a bit, but it's not, it's not the same effect. It's not, you know, it, it's just not the same thing. Like if I make it like that with no outline and I just have the shadow blur, once again, if I take shadow blur up to 10, it just drops it back to two. I, I cannot get, there is, as far as I can see, please correct me if I'm wrong, there is no way that I can, using this new video, uh, this new text and titles and text, which is not new in version 17, it's been around in 16 and previous ones, but I can't, that's why I was using the legacy one, because it allowed me to do the text I want. And version 17 has dropped support for that. I guess I could like always have, I've tried to save it, as I, I've take, tried to take my existing one, save it as a template, but that, that doesn't work, right? So I, I guess I could copy it, right? I can go like that, copy over here, okay? Create a new copy of the source material. Yep, okay, it allows me to copy. So in theory, I could still do it in 17, but I'd have to open up another project, copy. I think you can copy between projects, and the good thing about Vegas is you can actually open multiple instances, multiple editing windows, and that's actually really quite good. Um, and I've, I've taken advantage of that quite a few times over the years, um, so it's very handy. You, can, you know, it's not just one instance of the program. You can open as many editing windows as you want. Normally I do this editing on a bigger 2K monitor, by the way, so I've got more screen real estate. Um, if, if you don't know, I've got a three monitor set up here. I've got a 1080p monitor, I've got a 2K monitor in the center, and then I've got a 4K monitor over there. So I've got like, all the options for, yeah, it's just very handy to do that. Anyway, yeah, I, I can copy it, but like, like, why? The titles and text should be able to at least match the capability of the old school legacy one. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think down below. Catch you next time.